Welcome to Naivasha. Over the next couple of days, we're going to show you guys the best things to do in Naivasha and Nakuru, starting with a boat safari on Lake Naivasha. So we spent a little while trying to find a restaurant and a bunch of them actually closed now. And that's because the water of the lake keeps on rising and a lot of the restaurants and hotels were built right on the lake. So yeah, the water keeps on rising and the restaurants are closing down. So we eventually did find a restaurant. There was one at the place where we're taking our uh, boat safari from, where we had lunch and we're taking the safari from. It's called the Crescent Camp. And they have these awesome luxury tented camps, uh, tents that you can stay in, but a few of them are being taken down because the water has risen that high. So before the flooding happened, the water actually only went up to behind these trees that are now completely submerged underwater. Pictures really don't do this place justice. I mean, even as you're taking the boat out of the harbor, you can see old car park signs that are completely flooded where the lake was, a half submerged toilet. It's quite surreal. The flooding happened as recently as May. just bought a fish from one of the fishermen and he's going to try and feed a fish eagle. wildebeest, zebra, giraffes, they were all brought here to film the movie out of Africa. They filmed and then they left the animals here and they've been here ever since. So that mountain just there is what we're going to be climbing in two days. It is Mount Longinot, a volcano. Very sad this is done now. We're on our way back, but it's been an unbelievable experience and pretty much a must do, I think, if you're coming to this area. I uh, highly, highly recommend it. We have just made it to Lake Nakuru National Park. We drove here from Naivasha. What was cool about that drive is that was actually the first paved road in Kenya, so from Naivasha to Nakuru. Driving through here, it's like being in a fairy tale, but terrain is just so diverse, it's amazing. And it's actually one of the best 
best places to go birding in the world. We've just seen my personal favorite, which is the flamingos, which this place used to be famous for, but like I said, there's not that many anymore, but there are two types, greater and lesser. So we've just seen lesser, and you can tell that it's them because they eat under the water, whereas greater eats above the water. big lake here where you can see all the flamingos and birds and amazing wildlife. There's also a waterfall in this park. This place is amazing. There, Kenya is just so majestic. There's everything and more and everything you see is always so beautiful and grand. What an amazing country. It's about five hours in total, about an hour up, two hours at the top, and an hour down.